Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com. Let's talk about measuring your unit of open coil spring. Just a friendly reminder, your open coil spring needs to be used only on wires that fill the slot. So in an 018 slot, well, most of you are probably using 022. So let's just talk about 022 slot. So for 022 slot, the lightest I would do an open coil spring on is an 1822. You can use 1822, you can use 1922, you can use 020. Nothing less, no round wire less than 020, and I'd prefer it be rectangular wire, just better, because then you have some torque. Do not do it on 018, you guys are doing nut nutso things. I've seen crazy stuff happen where teeth are pushed out of bone when you do open coil spring on 018, please do not do it. All right, and then you have to monitor these patients. You cannot lose your patient. So if you send this patient and they, they need to come back in four weeks and you forget or they cancel, and your front desk doesn't get them back in, you are liable. You are liable if something happens. It is your job. You have an, a very slightly dangerous active spring in there. So you cannot lose your patient. So you need to keep some type of database or some type of pop-up so that this patient cannot be canceled or rescheduled with, or cannot be canceled without being promptly rescheduled, if that makes sense. This is something that I have to get through you guys' head because that's considered patient abandonment. If you're putting in something that could damage the patient and it goes unsupervised. So of course I'm less worried if it's not that active and I'm less worried if you do it on a heavy wire, but if you're making it super active, you need to really keep a tight leash on your patient. So how much do you measure it? Well, to play it safe, I like to measure it so it's exactly fits between the one side of the bracket and the other, and then add a few millimeters at a time. If you only add a few millimeters at a time, if you like crazy compress it, then you better get your patient back into two to three weeks, no matter what. I don't care if they, they gotta go on vacation, if they have an emergency, then you start sending certified letters. So it's probably better to not compress it that much, add only a few millimeters, and then you have less risk. So hopefully that makes sense. But then when they come back again, if you need more, you're either gonna have to measure a new unit, you know, plus a few more millimeters, or you can add, well, I have some content about crimpable stops, but you can only do those on rectangular wires. So they don't work quite as well as a whole new unit. And if you do a crimple stop, it's not gonna move in both directions, it's only, it's only gonna move in one direction, depending on where you put it. So check out my content on crimpable stops, or if you just look by OCS, it should come up. All right, thanks so much.